Hi guys, Steve here, and on this video I'm going to show you how to Quetzal farm, the fastest way to get metal. If you've not got a Quetzal yet, you can learn how to tame one here. This is a beginner's guide to cover the basics of Quetzal farming. The more experienced players might know tricks and glitches, but they might get patched. So I'm just going to show you the methods that's likely to keep working. What you'll need is an Ankylo, an extra player and a Quetzal. You can Quetzal farm solo, which I'll show you later, but it does take longer. The higher the level Ankylo and Quetzal, the better. Your Ankylo should be purely leveled up on melee damage, so you farm more resources. It doesn't matter about putting points into weight, as the Ankylo won't be moving. The extra person is to ride the Ankylo, and hit the metal when they come to it. And on the Quetzal, you want to spec as much weight as you can, because it's this that will be carrying all the metal weight. Ok, let's start by building a basic ramp platform. You'll need this to pick up and carry the Ankylo. Like I said, you need a Quetzal with as much weight as possible. Get on the Quetzal and take off, because it's harder to build and align everything if your Quetzal's landed on sloped ground. But when you're hovering like this, your platform saddle's more or less straight. First, align the edge of the platform up with the centre of your screen. That way you know you're going to build at a right angle. Next, I judge the distance between the foundation leg and the side of a platform. I always start off with thatch foundations to make sure everything's placed right. Those two are perfect so I can place a rest in metal. I place those first foundations as far forward as I could, so I can make the length of the platform three tiles. That's the base completed, now we can land. I'm going to have my ramp on the right hand side, so I only really need the foundations on the right. You can delete or not build the ones on the left to give you easy access to the saddle. However, I want this surface to be flat so I can carry other dinos around. That's why I've covered the platform in foundations. You might be tempted to build your ramp as far forward as you can, but if you do, you'll experience a problem in finishing your ramp, which I'll show you now. The first four ramps go down without a problem. It's a pain to place the bottom ones as it's blocked by the ground, so you need to take off and hover again so you've got enough clearance. You now can place the inside one fine, however the outer one is too far away from any foundations, so it won't let you place it. You can make do with just having one ramp at the bottom, but to be honest it's a bit of a pain and makes life harder. Having a ramp two towers wide makes it easier for the Ankylo to climb up it, gives the Ankylo a bigger area to stand on so it won't drop off, and makes it easier for the Quetzal to scoop it up. So what you need to do is instead build it at the back. Ramps are always fiddly to place. Again, the first four go down without a problem, so take off and give yourself enough room. Now we can place the lower ones. The inside, and now the outside. We're able to place that now, because we moved the ramp back. The bottom outside ramp tile is now in the radius of a front right foundation tile, so that's why it lets you place it. So if you delete this front right foundation, the outer bottom ramp would be demolished. Only the foundations next to the ramp are needed, but I'm going to fill the missing front one in, just so I've got a flat platform to carry dinos. Ok, let's go and get some metal. As the Ankylo is empty, get its rider to load it on the ramp. Try and position the Ankylo lower down on a ramp, because if it's too high up it'll be out of reach of the metal. On the island, the highest concentration of metal is found on the mountain tops, and in the volcano. Fly the Ankylo up to the metal just before it, then stop, by pressing the X key on the PC. The person on the Ankylo needs to hit the metal just before they get to it, as if you push the Ankylo into the metal, ground, trees, or any other of the terrain, the Ankylo will be pushed through the ramp and fall off. That's why we've built a ramp platform on the Quetzal, so that if the Ankylo does fall off, the Quetzal rider can just move around and scoop them up again. The Ankylo must have a rider for the Quetzal to be able to scoop it up. If there's no one riding the Ankylo, the ramp will just go straight through it. Oh. 
It's up to you if you want to fly to each metal node, but sometimes it's just easier to walk on the ground like this. As you've probably guessed by now, the Ankylo's weight limit is completely full up. It's overburdened and can't move, but it still has space to store the metal that we're collecting. Normally, the Ankylo being overburdened and not being able to move to different metal nodes would stop it farming metal. However, the Quetzal's doing all its movement for it, so you can bring the Ankylo to new metal. Before they patched this, the Quetzal didn't register how much weight the Ankylo was carrying. That's why it was called weightless farming. But now it does see a percentage of the Ankylo's weight. That's why you now need to use a Quetzal that can carry a lot. As well as metal, you can farm crystal this way. Obsidian. and the oil nodes in the snow area to the north of the island. And if you transfer a Quetzal over to Scorched Earth, you can farm the resources we have there, like salt, sulphur, etc. Okay, we've farmed most of the metal from this mountain, so I'll show you what the Ankylo is now carrying. Click W twice to bring up the heaviest weight items. And that's all the metal we've collected just from this mountain. As you can see, the carry weight of this Ankylo is 400. But because the Quetzal was moving it around to the ore, we've managed to harvest over 4,000 worth of materials. I've moved to the volcano now, but my Quetzal can't lift any more weight, so I'm going to have to get rid of stuff I don't want. Start to type stone in the search box above. Next click drop all items to get rid of it. You want to do this for all the materials you don't want. Next we'll get rid of flint, so type that in the search box, again click drop all items, and repeat that process again for berries. That just leaves you with everything else you want to keep. You are able to Quetzal farm by yourself, but everything's harder and takes much longer, especially if you have any problems. You have to fly the Ankylo to every metal node, get off a the Quetzal, then get on the Ankylo, then harvest the metal. The Ankylo always hits normal rocks first, then the metal last. Once you've done, you've got to get on a Quetzal and move to the next batch of metal. One of the biggest problems you'll experience when solo is the Ankylo getting knocked off a ramp. You can't scoop the Ankylo up with a ramp because there's no rider on it, and the Ankylo is full of metal so it can't move. To get the Ankylo back onto the ramp, you need a whip, but you only can get the silk to build one in the Scorched Earth DLC. If the Ankylo ends up too high on the ramp, you can use a whip to whip it down to the bottom and reach your metal. Ok, that's the collecting metal covered, so now let's get on to unloading it. Fly the Ankylo back to your base. Open the doors, then whip the Ankylo to your industrial forge. If you're playing on a solo game, you can use an admin cheat to spawn in a whip, but since the last patch they've become very buggy and temperamental when trying to use them to unload. So I'm going to go through a few different methods, so you can pick which one's right for your situation. Or if I patch it and it stops working, click the take all from inventory button, so you'll pick up as much metal as your weight allows. Then face the person in the forge room, mouse over the first group of metal, then repeatedly press O on the keyboard to throw the metal in their direction. The person in the forge room can whip the metal to pick it up, turn around, then place it in the forge. This did used to work perfectly and pick everything up in one go, but since we've patched it so you can't whip through walls, sometimes it leaves metal on the ground so you've got to pick it up manually, but be quick because you've only got two minutes before it despawns. It 
Instead of opening your main doors and whipping the anchor load through your base to the forge, another method to unload is to land on your roof. Then move the anchor load a short distance to your delivery chute. This goes all the way down to your industrial forge room. One of you stays on top to unload the anchor load and throw the metal down, while the other one drops down the chute, picks the metal up, then puts it in the forge. You ready? Yep, sure. That time it looked like the whip picked everything up in one go, but I'll just look around to make sure. If you don't have a whip, you can pick it up manually, but you have to be quick before it despawns. It picked up most of them then, but it left one behind. Nope, I had to pick it up by hand. From the unloader's point of view, have the ankylo next to the chute so you can access its inventory. Click the Take All Items button, look directly into the hatch opening, open up your inventory and mouse over the first group of metal, then repeatedly press O on the keyboard and throw it all down the chute. Another way to unload is to throw all the metal on the floor outside your base, then have somebody whip it to pick it up. This used to pick all the metal up in one go, but I guess not anymore. Next, knock the carrier out, then drag him to the industrial forge room where he wakes up and transfers all the metal into the forge. Make sure there's a clear path to it or you might drop them. It is easy and quick to move all the metal like this, but if you drop them and he vanishes, that means it's glitched and the rubber banded back to where you knocked him out. So you're going to have to use one of the other methods. The quickest and easiest way to unload an ankylo is just to build an industrial forge outside. That way you can park Quetzal right next to it, move your ankylo up to the forge, then get off and transfer the metal from the ankylo to the forge. That way there's no moving around and it's quick and simple. I hope this has been helpful for you and if it has please like and subscribe. There's more helpful videos on the playlist at the end. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you again. Goodbye.